everyone. This is our 2022 Ford Transit cargo van. There were a handful of reasons as to why we chose Ford and this particular model. One of those was the interior dimensions of the cargo space, and we are gonna be going over those today. This is a 2022 Ford Transit 350 HD cargo van. We opted to go with the high roof, 148 inch wheelbase extended, all wheel drive with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 gas engine. So it took about 11 months from the time we placed the order to the time we picked it up. And originally we put in the order in 2021 and it switched over to the 2022 model. Uh, there were a few differences between the two, but the biggest one is that we were never able to see this van on a lot in person before we picked it up. Before we hop into the cargo space of the van and go over some of the measurements and dimensions, I just wanna highlight a few of the features that we have in the cab. And the first one before you even walk in is uh, we opted to add a keyless entry system that allows us to leave the keys hidden somewhere in the car if we're out hiking, if we're out shooting, um, and then we can get back into the vehicle without having to worry about did we lose a key when we were out or anything like that. So when we built out our transit, we chose to get the adventure prep package and that included a lot of upgrades and we're going to have a different video going through how we spec'd out the van, the reason why and the different features that were added to it. So not to dive into that here, but I will point out that um, we chose to get the factory swivel seats. So both the driver and the passenger swivel. And because of that, uh, the only cloth option for us at the time was this dark Palazzo gray. One of the benefits of being switched from the 2021 model to the 2022 model is that we now have a 12 inch touchscreen. Um, and with that, there's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as Bluetooth sync connectivity for all the phones. Another option that we went with was the large center console. And that gives us not only the cup holders, but an extra spot to slide a phone if we want storage there. And there's, I'm small. There's also some storage underneath. The Adventure Prep Package added this shelf, which has illuminated sun visors, the little mirror. Now this shelf isn't huge. This fits a water bottle and some sunglasses, and we'll go over the dimensions of uh, how you could potentially add a shelf here a little bit later. This side door opening from the black plastic gasket from one side to the other is 51 inches. So the side door footwell is 41 inches from the pillar to this inlet right here. And from the back to the front of the plastic is nine inches. But what's interesting is from the back to this metal, which is where we're gonna have our kitchen cabinets come off, this is eight and a half inches. The height from the plastic to the top of the flooring is two and three quarter inches. All of the distance measurements going forward are going to be from the B pillars back. Something that we didn't know or consider because we didn't see the van before we bought it was that the support pillars in the middle here actually pop out quite a distance. So from the B pillar all the way back to where this pops out is 53 and one quarter inches. The pop out itself sticks out two and a half inches and is four inches wide. The distance from the front pillar to the start of the wheel well is 80 inches the wheel well ends at 114 inches. From the front pillar to the start of this back pillar is 156 inches, and from the front to the end of this back pillar is 161 and a half inches. The longest point in the van is actually in the center. So from the front pillar all the way to the back edge is 164 inches. Now we're gonna talk about the measurements on the driver's side of the van. They are nearly identical, um, just with slight variations because as you can tell, there is no secondary sliding door. From the front pillar to the start of the secondary support pillar is 53 and a quarter inches, which is the same as the other side. This pillar starts at 53 and a quarter and goes to approximately 57 inches. The distance from the front pillar to the start of the wheel well is identical to the other side. So it starts at 80 inches and then it goes all the way to 114 inches at the end. On the driver's side, from the front pillar to the start of this back pillar is 156 inches, and from the front pillar to the end of this back pillar is 161 and a half inches. 
All of those initial measurements were from the floor back. We wanted to see what we would have to work with from countertop height. So for these next few measurements, we are gonna be going from 36 inches off the ground and talk about what you have to work with in terms of the contours and the pillars. So from the front pillar to where the very first contour starts, where it starts to go out, is one and a quarter inches. And now that contour goes and at four inches, you get to the deepest part of this wall internal pop out thing. From the start of the deepest point all the way to where the contour starts again on the second pillar is 49 inches. And that pillar comes out to 54 and a quarter inches and continues until 59 and a quarter inches from the front pillar. And now that contour starts again and gets to its deepest spot at 61 and a half inches. That continues at that depth all the way back to where it starts to contour out here in the back. And this is 151 and a half inches from the front pillar. That contour goes out to 152 and three quarters inches. And then to get from there all the way to this back beam is 156 inches front beam to back beam. On the passenger side, going off the same 36 inch countertop height, from the front pillar to the start of the door pillar is 55 and a half inches. That continues to 59 and a half inches, and that's where the contour starts. Now from there, the measurements are exactly the same to the back pillars um, as they are on the driver's side. We do have a dually, which means our wheel wells are, are quite a bit larger than if it was just the normal wheel package. So for our wheel wells, from the start to the back is 34 inches, and on the top, they contour up, this is 15 inches on top. The height is 10 and a quarter inches from the ground to the top, and the depth is 11 and a half, give or take. The wheel well on the driver's side is exactly the same dimensions and the width between the two is 45 and a half inches, which is not enough for a standard piece of plywood. The width of the van from the slower section to the driver's side is 69 inches and that's consistent all the way from front to back. The floor ridges are approximately 3 eighths of an inch high. From the floor all the way up to where this first contour out starts is 23 and a quarter inches. That contour continues to 25 and a half inches and that stays consistent all the way up to 29 and a half inches where it contours out again um, to 30 and a quarter, three quarters inches high. And that is consistent all the way up to 59 inches and the contour comes back and starts moving back in to 60 and a quarter inches high. And from there to the bottom of these uh, cross beams on top is 76 and a half inches. And that height is consistent across all of the rooftop beams. And the very highest point on the side panel is 78 and three quarters inches. The van has multiple different widths. So the initial one would be between the two wheel wells, which is 45 and a half inches. The width from this lower section all the way across is 69 and a half inches. It contours out initially, and the width between the two sides is 74 and a half. It contours a second time out, and this is now the widest part of the van, and that's 76 and a half inches. When it goes back up and contours again back into the van, you have a width of 64 inches across, and then from beam to beam, it's 62 and a quarter inches. The width of the back door opening from the floor is 61 and a half inches, and behind this back pillar from side to side is 69 and one quarter inches. If you're thinking about uh, installing any sort of fan or air conditioning unit, it's important to know how much room you have on the roof between the beams. So if you go from this um, headliner to the very first beam, it is about 28 and a half inches. It does slope quite a bit, so that's just like ballpark. But from this very first beam to the second beam is 25 inches. From the second beam, this is all on the inside, 
from the second beam to the third beam is 35 inches. And from the third beam to the fourth beam is 16 and a half inches. From the fourth to the fifth, it's 12 and a half inches. And from the fifth beam to the very back, it is just a little bit over 21 inches. We did get the factory shelf. It's a little bit small. So if you were considering adding um, or extending it to make another shelf, the distance from the headliner one side to the other is 53 inches and um, 22 inches deep. So you can go back 22 inches. And if you were to go 12 inches from the top of the headliner down and over, you'd have about a triangle. So you'd have 12 by 22. Our two front seats are the factory swivel chairs and their seat height from the floor to the lowest is 16 inches and from the floor to the highest seating position is 18 inches. And that is the same for both the driver and the passenger side. Now let's talk about these pockets that the Ford Transit has. So there's these upper ones and these lower ones, and they're pretty significant in depth. So the lower pockets on the front end are four and a half inches deep. And if you measure from the deepest point out to the furthest out part of the metal, it's actually upwards of five and a quarter inches. In the back, they're a little bit less steep, being about three and a half inches. So that's for the lower ones. The upper ones are in the front just over four inches deep, and in the back, they're just under four inches deep. So slightly deeper here, but about four inches. The Adventure Prep Package included factory windows on both of the back doors. So those windows from the interior floor up to the bottom of the window framing is 28 and a half inches high. The window itself is 31 and 3 quarters inches tall by 26 and 3 quarters inches wide. From the floor to the base of the roof where the door closes is 74 and a quarter inches tall. The Adventure Prep Package also included a fixed window on the passenger sliding door, and the dimensions of that window framing are 29 inches high by 45 and a half inches wide. The height from the floor to the top of this uh, door opening is 63 and a quarter inches. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough of the dimensions and measurements of our 2022 Ford Transit. I know that seeing and getting the measurements of all the weird different angles and pop-outs really does influence not only the van you will likely pick, but the layout you get to do. It changes where things can go and can be positioned in the van. So um, I hope this has been helpful for you. We would love for you to follow along as we continue to build out our Ford Transit. Um, hit that like button, subscribe. We have a ton of videos in the pipeline and a really cool design that we're gonna bring to life. Mm -hmm.